and hopes to make it to the finals on Saturday. Reporting in Dayton, James Ryder, News Center 7. Keeping our fingers crossed for Casey. Best of luck, young lady. And a Dark County native has qualified for his second Olympic Games. Clayton Murphy won the final for the 800-meter race last night. Today, we talked with Murphy about what he's accomplished and what all the support means to him. From Dark County to, to Cleveland to when I lived in Portland for three years to friends across the world, like, the support has been amazing. It really does mean a lot to me, and I, I really see the people who are kind of in my corner the whole way through. Murphy has six weeks to get ready for the competition in Tokyo in 2016. He won bronze in Rio de Janeiro. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. A yeah, splendid afternoon, almost a, almost a little bit cool tonight around 7, 730. Yeah, it sure was, especially once the sun went down this <laughs> evening. The temperature dropped really fast, and tomorrow morning will feel a lot like it did out there this morning as we wake up in the low 50s. So if you're someone that thinks that's cool enough for a sweatshirt or a light jacket, you're going to need that again tomorrow morning. Now, we are going to get another dry day out of the forecast, and then at least one more day before rain returns with the threat for storms. Right Right now on Live Doppler 7, we are free and clear of any precipitation, really not much more than a few passing clouds, and that's similar for much of the region. Those showers that you see to the far north and west in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, moving out of Iowa into Illinois, are going to pass to our south and southwest. We'll just see a few clouds drifting on in from that, but overall we will stay dry. We just inherit a few clouds heading into the day on Wednesday. Temperatures, they're cooling off. As James mentioned, we're sitting at 62 degrees right now in the city of Dayton, 59 up toward Fort Wayne. But notice back to the west, even though there are some showers moving in, temperatures are warmer. That's because there is a southerly wind that's starting to take over, and that will inherit uh, the forecast for us into tomorrow. will inherit those warmer temperatures and the winds as well. We're at 56 degrees in Troy right now, 55 in Sydney, so clearly outside of the city, much cooler. We have 58 in Xenia, 55 outside in Wilmington. Now, along with the cooler weather, we've enjoyed some comfortable conditions. Dew points today, well down into the 30s and 40s. So when you see that number getting into the 60s and 70s, that it feels humid and muggy, downright miserable at times, tropical type of moisture. We're going to hold off on those 60 dew points until we get to Friday, and we'll keep it around through the upcoming weekend. That, of course, comes in with the instability and the threat for some thunderstorms late weekend of the weekend as well. So you will have to rearrange your plans if you had any to be outdoors this weekend just to be on the lookout for showers and thunderstorms. We'll keep an eye on it as we get closer to it. Right now, future cast for the overnight hour shows a few passing clouds. Again, a little bit more in the way of cloud cover will move in tomorrow with that disturbance off to our west. We'll have partly sunny to mostly sunny skies for your day tomorrow. By 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we do see a little bit more in the way of clearing in comparison to what we'll deal with in the morning. Then into tomorrow night, we have a mainly clear to partly cloudy sky, and temperatures will again fall back into the 50s by Thursday morning. But for tomorrow morning, this is what you can expect, a daybreak, right around 52 degrees to start the day. Wouldn't even rule out perhaps some spots trying to flirt with those upper 40s as you get up across the north and northeast. Grab the jacket early or light jacket, short sleeves for the afternoon as it will be warmer than today. And we will have sunshine even though there is going to be some clouds out there. Still a very high UV index so it can be deceiving with the cooler weather and cloud cover. You can still develop a sunburn if you're out for more than 30 to 45 minutes without any protection. Temperatures tomorrow get into the middle to upper 70s. Still below average but warmer than we had today. Tomorrow and Thursday, good days to get the lawnmower out and take care of the yard if you need to do so, because into the weekend, with the rain and thunderstorm threat, especially by Friday afternoon, you're not going to have much time, and the grass might be too soggy for you to do it. 77 for tomorrow, 86 on Thursday, not too humid, but warmer, 85 on Friday, with those afternoon and evening showers and storms that will push in from the north and west. More widespread coverage of those showers and storms at times expected through the upcoming weekend. While wet and stormy, we do see temperatures staying on the warmer side in the lower 80s over the weekend. Thank you, McCall. Living on campus is about to be more affordable for Wright State students. University